Hi, this is Stephen Riley reporting from Ottawa with your weekly news update. Whenever we get a chance to fly out here, it's always a very, very busy time for us. Steve here was on a panel with Len Katz. How did that go? Uh, it went really well, actually. Um, as some of you know, Len Katz is the vice chair of the CRTC. Um, he's also previously one of the biggest proponents of usage-based billing or internet metering, unfortunately. But he basically said that now the CRTC and Canadians in general need to push for independent and affordable options. Um, so that's really great to see. Um, big change there. And I spoke with uh, Katz after the panel and, and told him that we had some problems with one of their recent decisions in terms of how the rates are set and the lack of transparency in their decision. And he said he's open to making some changes to that as well. So, um, yeah, hopefully that works out, but uh, things are looking good there. Yeah, that's really impressive and sounds promising. Yeah, I, I'm cautiously optimistic, of course. Um, the history is not great there, but uh, I think if we keep up the pressure, um, we, we, can, uh, we can really fix these things. And uh, I understand you were at a conference as well? I was, and I got to hear Conrad von Finkenstein, who's the outgoing chair of the CRTC, interviewed about his career. So he was asked a question about bad days, and he mentioned the time that he had to go before Parliament earlier this year and justify internet metering, and how as he was speaking to them, he actually realized that the CRTC had gotten it wrong. Uh, so while I do feel bad about the role that our Stop the Meter campaign played in a bad day for Conrad, it was pretty incredible to hear him admit that Canadians had forced him to realize that he was wrong. He also said that uh, he hopes the new incoming chair will realize that just listening to industry isn't good enough. So I think that we're actually seeing a new openness from the CRTC when it comes to respecting citizen input. Mm, that's great. Yeah, I got that sense too um, when I was in Parliament uh, speaking with MPs uh, the last few days. They also had kind of a critical view of, of big telecom and um, I think they understand that we have a broken telecom market in Canada and that we need to fix it. And to that end I brought them our, our Casting an Open Internet report. and. Um, Basically, they, they have no excuse now because there's a clear action plan that's backed up by uh, facts and, and research. The report that we brought to Parliament Hill was really only possible because of all your support. So thank you so much, pro-internet community, for having our back and making our work possible. Hopefully we will see some action in the near future. They seem receptive. So, uh, you know, I think if we keep the pressure on, um, you know, there's, uh, there's some amazing things that can be done here. So generally a pretty promising trip. And if you want to read more about it, you can do so on our blog at openmedia.ca. Till next time. This is Stephen Riley signing off from Ottawa. Okay, no, we're doing okay. Let's let's talk. I, I think some of this is usable. <laughs>